Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, people. Good morning. Welcome to the Terrific Tuesday edition of Showbiz Now here on Joy Prime. Wherever you find yourself, I know you're definitely making some money for yourself. It's all good. My name is KMJ and I was born to talk. In the next 10 minutes, I get to serve you the best of entertainment news right here on the show. Stay with me. Kwame Eugene and Ken Promise can compete with me, says Nana Boro. Tema based artist Nana Boro has disclosed that the likes of Kwame Eugene, Ken Promise, and the rest are doing their best, but still can't compete with him in terms of music. In an interview with Zion Felix, Nana Boro acknowledged the talent of the young guys who are gradually taking over the Ghanaian music scene by storm. But of course, not without throwing a little bit of shade. Now, according to the Ahaya De Hitmaker, the young artists in the system now have released good songs to help push the Ghanaian music industry and they need to be held for their enormous effort. He also stated that they are doing extremely well. It is the new air that is blowing. I always say anywhere I stand that they are doing very well. The one time Hitmaker was quick to actually add that even though they were doing their best and all of that, there was no way they would compete with him or any of the old musicians. Hmm. That's uh, one thing that a lot of people would want to debate on because Nana Boro, whenever he comes to music and people mention his name, there's, there's a one hit maker attached to it. So let's see how this controversy or debate actually you know, pans out. I am not aware of Bulldog's sack. Xylophone Media PR has spoken. It has been alleged that Lawrence Nana Esia Mahansen, known in showbiz as Bulldog, has been sacked from Xylophone Media. Now, Bulldog was signed last year as the company's A&R manager. The latest reports of his sack actually came up at the time when he's been very quiet in the media space. Now, Anoda Samwa Bedu, a public relations officer at Xylophone, said, I do not know of any sacking at Xylophone yet, quote unquote. Meanwhile, Ghana, uh, GHBase.com uh, uh, actually have made the sack allegation and they said that Bulldog, uh, who was signed somewhere in November 2017, uh, onto the xylophone brand has been actually handed his sack later but as to whether it is true or not this is a tweet from the man of the moment everybody seems to be talking about him that is the man who owns the xylophone media and he says nana s yama hansen alias bulldog still holds the office as the artist manager of xylophone music uh, he has neither been fired nor resigned support him to succeed ghana shall prosper and that's uh, nana up here Mensa, the man that everybody seems to be talking about, putting that tweet. So this authenticates the fact that he is still with the media house, right? We we'll wish him well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to some international news right here on the show. And Taylor Swift gives her free tickets to police and firefighters after officers' death. Here it is. Swift had some very special guests at a recent concert in Massachusetts this week. And no, they aren't celebrities, but they are celebrated. Now, E! News has learned that the pop star provided a significant number of tickets to law enforcement to her Thursday show, which took place at Gillett Stadium in Foxborough. Now, almost two weeks after a Weymouth police officer, Sergeant Michael Chesner, was killed in the line of duty. The Patriot Ledger uh, reported that Swift provided hundreds of tickets to the town of Weymouth and it says that there were enough to send every police officer, firefighter and extended family to the concert and then some uh, the gesture actually was absolutely uh, generous, significant and appreciated and that's what the lady actually did for the firefighters and the police people out there. So let's see it happen here in Ghana as well. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. Away from that, uh, Thomas Markle accuses Meghan Markle and royal family of cutting him off. That's no good news. The father has been talking ever since and Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, has accused his daughter and the royal family of getting or uh, cutting off communications with him. Now, I'm really hurt that she's cut me off completely, he told the mail on Sunday. I used to have the phone number and test number for her personal aides at the palace, but after I said a few critical words about the royal family changing Meghan, they cut me off. 
Thomas said the numbers that he used to have to contact the dishes have been disconnected and no longer work. Now, the patriarch also expressed his desire to send his daughter a card for her August 4th birthday. However, he doubted she would actually receive it. And he says, I thought about sending it by per email express, but the palace would probably just soak it in water for three days to make sure it doesn't explode, he told the newspaper. Interesting. Now, Thomas also expressed concern that he wouldn't be able to meet any future grandchildren should Meghan and Harry have a child. And he says, what's sad is that sometime in the next year, Meghan and Harry will have a baby and I'll be a grandfather. And if I were not speaking, I won't see my grandchild. How tragic is that? To deprive a child of its grandfather because i said a few things critical of the royal family and that's the question he's asking over there they want me to be silent they want me to just go away but i wouldn't be silenced i refuse to stay quiet he said he uh, what roused me is megan's sense of superiority she would be nothing without me i made her the duchess that she is today everything that megan is i made her that talks too much you made her and that's why you're a father anyway come on Come on, dude. All right, so away from that, let's talk about some trending movies in 2018. Solo, a Star Wars story is number 10. You're after something. Is it revenge? Money? Or is it something else? You look good. A little rough around the edges, but good. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together a crew. Release date is May 10, 2018. Director Ron Howard. The number nine, we have uh, Game Nights. Check it out. Tonight, we're taking Game Night up a notch. <laughs> We don't need a board and we do not need pieces. We won't need any extra rudeness either. Someone in this room is going to be taken. Oh, it's a murder mystery party. Fun! Whoever finds the victim wins the grand prize. The keys to the stingray. Just the keys? No, Ryan, the whole car. Oh, yes! I just want to wish you the best of luck. And release date is February 22, 2018. Directors, we have John Francis Daly, Jonathan Goldstein. Annihilation is number eight. Your husband's here. Let me see him. He was extremely ill. You have to tell me where he was, what he was doing. It was his decision to go in. It's something they termed the shimmer. <laughs> And the release date for this one is February 13, 2018. Director Alex Garland. At number seven, we have Ant Man and the Wasp. Like a partner. Dr. Pym, I actually heard what happened to you. You opened up the quantum realm. That's when this crazy could be ghost who like walks through walls and stuff. Stole your tech. And release date for this one is July 4, 2018. The director, we have Peyton Reed. And that movie over there, you might just as well want to check it out when finally it's out out there. At, I mean, as a matter of fact, it's out there already, so go check it out. And that's what it is, folks. I'll be back at 12. IB is on at 11 to bring you some more. Many thanks to you for watching, to the production team. We appreciate your effort. God bless you. At the penthouse puts me in this very beautiful outfit. I'm appreciated. My name is KMJ, and I was born to talk. Stay beautiful.